Thursday Thunder. Yeah. Again. I go. We're in a different spot. We are. It's We're inside the gym here. Yeah. Have a look. We've been doing some renovations at the gym, which happened really quickly. It did, uh, three, four days and... Yeah. Yeah. So looks... we've been talking about the renovations here at the gym for a while. Uh, we wanted to repaint it and do a few things, and but it all happened within a week. Yeah, and we are watching on the camera as well as it was going on as well. <laughs> yeah. So, um, huge shout out to Steve, mm -hmm. Steve Molina, one of our members here who's repainted the gym. He's got a little bit more to go, but it should be finished by this yeah, weekend. hopefully. Uh, my brother Ray, who also did some work for us. Um, who else? They, Robert, Robertson's Glazing, who yeah. came in and replaced all our mirrors. And, and they look really good too. Yeah, yeah. Aligned all our mirrors up nice and straight. So yeah, we've had a, uh, a bunch of good people working here and it's looking mint. It is. It's getting a whole bunch of different comments. People saying, oh, it's a brand new gym or it's a different yeah. atmosphere. We've had a few members. So we went for the black look. You can see the walls are black yeah. and we got some bright yellow um, highlights and um, everyone said the black's going to close it in, but no. no, it hasn't. It's made it even bigger. And yeah. you can actually see behind us here how bright it is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's awesome. Good. So come and check it out. So by this Saturday, it'll be all finished. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or this weekend, yeah. yeah. So come and check it out. But I mean, the majority of it's all done. So the gym is fully functional and yes. operational. Yeah. No um, more moving equipment back and forth. No, that was a pain in the ass. And... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, moving big... 10 tonnes of dumbbells yeah. back and forth. Big thanks to me for doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it looks good. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, so. no, awesome. So come and check it out. Uh, 130 Bridge Road of Paraka. Uh, we are 24 7 and we're staffed six days a week so come and check us out um, mention this video and get your first workout free even better yeah even done so what's been happening in bodybuilding whole bunch of stuff whole we have we have a lot more information on the IFBB we have a lot oh, more information on well, new things man, happening the shit hit the fan this week and in yeah. Federation Wars <laughs> we'll call it like Federation yeah. Wars uh, first of it, Thanks. some of it yeah. started with Tim Martin yes. and IMBA yeah. banning Tim. They first banned, they first said that we're going to revoke your pro card mm -hmm. and you have to go back to the amateurs, but then they sent him another email apparently and said, no, nah, we don't want you back. Yeah, because you can compete with ICN. Yeah, because Tim competed in the ICN mm -hmm. and won the ICN pro. Yeah, um, look, I'm not going to go too in, much into no. it, but I think it's a silly thing to yeah, do. It is. Especially the pros, let them compete where they want to mm -hmm. go, they're pros. Especially when it says you can compete in every federation. That's right. Oh, by the way, except this one. You mm -hmm. can't do that. No, no, no. So, Tim is competing, like he went and competed in the AMB universe mm -hmm. and finished second to Joel Romintis from yeah. Adelaide. So, congratulations, Joel. He won the AMB Pro Universe. And then Tim is in America this weekend competing in some other natural pro show. Yeah, he is. Chet, he is. Chet Yorton Cup or something, I'm not sure, but yeah. So He's doing the rounds. He's yeah. Doing... Good luck to Tim. Well done. Uh, and I think it's the IMBA's loss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could have just let him in. I mean, what's mm. the big deal? Even if it was like a, like a um, one month ban or something, like, you know, you can't do next oh, look, I think like, it's... something like that, you know, but not banning one of their best pros no, right no, out. No, no, yeah, why? Yeah, just because, yeah. Anyway, moving right along. Yep. And then they've got the IFBB brouhaha mm. that happened on the weekend. <laughs> um, yes, yeah. The IFBB Nationals were on and there was all sorts of things said about the split and, mm -hmm. and mudslinging and, and everything. And if you want to do this, you have to compete in this show, but that one classifies this other one. It's Yeah, I think Paul, Gr Carol, uh, Paul Graham mm. did one of his famous speeches, uh, which again, I'm not going to, no. I'm not going to go into it, but if you want to see it, there's, there's heaps of stuff about it on Bodybuilding Nation and Muscle Asylum. Yep. Um, all rather silly. Yeah. Um, but, well, it's been confirmed that, yeah, Tony Doherty is now running um, the IFBB Pro League. Yeah. And to qualify for the Nationals, you have to go through Pro, pro League qualification shows. So effectively, it's another new federation. Yeah. So that maybe was all like 30 at the moment? Oh, like something crazy. 770,000 federations. But to compete in the Arnold Classic, you're going to have to do one of the, some of the qualification shows in February and March next year. Yeah. And there's one in uh, John Davey has been appointed to Queensland uh, Pro League head. Uh, it'll be a show in New South Wales, Victoria, and Western Australia. None has yet been scheduled for South Australia. No, no, I mean, you go, if you want to go, you'd have to go to Melbourne to qualify. Um, yeah, and, and speaking of federations, there's another federation. Yes, there is. I've noticed yes, coming sir. over. I've never heard of it, GBO or something. Global Bodybuilding Association, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, oh, look, it's just ridiculous. We just get a list 
heard old timer listeners just like names upon names and lists on the floor yeah. and it's it's getting a bit much. It's, it's getting know. a bit too much. You watch you in a few Look, years there's time. there's good th- there's good things and there's bad things about it. The way I see it, it's gonna make me as a promoter really work hard yeah. to make sure that I keep the standard of my shows as mm-hmm. high as possible and look after the competitors as best as I can. And I think that's gonna make it do that with every federation. Yeah, definitely. You're gonna have to now really make an effort with your shows um, to stand be, out. I to mean, stand to... out or to retain your competitors. Because yeah. there's so many competi- uh, competitions. Competitors can choose a lot of competitions. The only thing it's gonna, what I don't like about it, it's, it's gonna increase the catchphrase we talked about the mm-hmm. other day where it's like, um, I found the federation that suits my business. Yeah, no, you, I hate that. Like, you found a federation that... Doesn't have many competitors. That's given you a win because yeah. you had two or three competitors in your division. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that that's your, yeah, anyway. I mean, certain, the ones do critique on different, like, components, but at the end of the day, if you're one out of two and you win, you're gonna get first or second, where if you compete in the ones that are like 12 and you don't play. So Look, there's a, yeah, there's a lot, lot my higher chance. You've got, a, you've got a 50% chance of winning out of one out of two. Yeah. You've got a 10% chance out of winning out of 10 people. Exactly. Like, and, and that's gonna exponentially rise, but I'd rather place in the top five in a field of 15 mm. athletes than win. Like we spoke about it in one of our videos yeah. where one of my memorable wins or placings was a second place in a field of 11 people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's right. I'd rather, I'd rather play, yeah, like I said, like you want to be sure that you can't compete with a lot of other people like maybe just one. That's right. So. Oh, well, that's, that's another um, one. Time. I'm off to Bali tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So I've never been to Bali. So, um, wish me luck. I actually registered with Smart Traveler last night oh, and everything, okay. yeah. So, if they find my burnt crisp body somewhere, they'll be able to identify me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm off to Bali for the ICN Bali Paradise International, which is on this weekend. And we've got, uh, I think it's five South Australians yep. going, two pros and some amateurs. Um, so keep an eye on the ICN South Australia page. I'll be putting up some pictures. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Never been to Bali, like I said. It's gonna be hot. Apparently it's hot. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. That's the last of the ICN shows, and we will be having an ICN AGM there as well with all the presidents. So um, we'll be obviously planning for next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah it should be good. Um, we had a question on oh, our Instagram page. Yes, didn't know that. yes, Ari did send that message to you this morning. I never got it. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it really. Early. Um, anyway, there was a question there where someone just asked about cardio. Okay. It was a generalized question. Cardio, how much, frequency, etc., etc. I mean, it's a pretty broad question as far mm-hmm. as I'm concerned because it's a matter of how much do you want to do and what are you training cardio for. I think he mentioned something about maintenance. Um, again, that's, that's a pretty broad question to answer because as far as I'm concerned, I'm in, well, not a maintenance, I'm in a building size yeah. mode, but I don't do cardio as no. such. Um, if you... I don't know, you're going to do cardio for weight loss? Well, then you need to do as much cardio as needed for you to put yourself into a calorie deficit yeah. to lose body fat. I mean, I think he's meaning maintenance in that he doesn't want to put on body fat. Yeah. Yeah. So the way I see it is cardiovascular exercise, it's, it's hard. It's, all, it's, like, it's to combat cardiovascular disease. Like we've seen Damon and Adam talk about it yeah. a lot. Like you do cardio if you have bad cardiovascular yeah, uh, yeah. Endurance, look, look if, if you want to run for fitness, that's fine. Run yeah. for fitness and incorporate a training plan for that mm. in your cardio and your weights. And at the end mm. of the day, cardio is good to burn calories. Yeah, that's what you want to do. I mean, for maintenance, I'd say twenty minutes. You know, that's, that's you know, get up, yeah. go for a little walk. That's all you need, yeah. really. I mean, yeah, I, I think yeah, get up first thing in the morning and go for a walk. Yeah. It's 20, easy. 30 minutes around the block, brisk walk. And One, you're going to wake up really good. It's going to set your metabolism yeah. up. Uh, and it's going to burn a little bit of calories. Yeah. And then two, lift heavier. Yeah. Yeah, look, I really think that if you want to lose body fat and or change your recomposition in your yeah. body, lift more weight and train hard. Yeah. Really, that that's, that's it, you know. Um, pick up more weight, put more weight on the bar, Put your body under that incredible stress of lifting more weight and try to get yourself stronger. Yeah. And you're going to change your body reconstruction. It's just going to happen. I've proved it over two years. I've totally changed 
my body recomposition with no cardio, but just training harder and harder and harder all the time. I mean, I've been doing like, training with you guys for like what seven, eight months now. Yeah, and you've changed. I've got I'm 96 kilos down for a sitting. 13%? I don't know. I reckon, so, I reckon you're leaning at 13%. So, yeah, so it, it works, you know. Yeah. I would have never thought... Me and Luke keep telling you to keep, put your shirt back on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like that. <laughs> but, yeah, look, it's, I think it's a, it's a personal choice. But if you're looking... I think, I think I understand what you mean by for maintenance. Well, then, yeah, you just want to do 20 to 30 minutes. You don't want to go too crazy. No, no. No point yeah. in doing, you know, 30 minutes of hit no. exercise if you're not... Like, no, not, not like me. Like, uh, my daughter and I have... Uh, booked a 15 day trek through the Himalayas next year so I'm going to have to start training for yeah. that <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm going to have to start training for that alright that's it that's but it. we'll wrap it up with yeah. some information and some new products yep. so um, we could actually do like a AM review on this we could actually yeah just so these are just come into the store uh, all stores and here at the gym we have got uh, Mars Protein, Stickers Protein, and the Bounty Protein Bars are now in stock. Um, have you tried them? I've tried all of them. Yes, I have and tried all of them. Now, I'll, I'll give my little review on this. Okay. So you give a review on that. So, the Mars Protein surprisingly tastes like a Mars bar. Yeah. Yeah, except look, because of the low, lower sugar, lower fats, higher protein, it's going to have a little bit of that. Uh, proteiny taste, like denser, and green, it's a little green. bit denser, and nowhere near as sweet, obviously, because. Mm. But surprisingly, if you gave this to someone and they didn't know what it is, they say it's a Mars bar. Yeah, yeah. I would say the same thing about Snickers. Uh, only difference I found in this is there's not as many nuts in it because yes. the calories have to be a little lower. But exactly same right, the and style. that's how they reduce the fats content. Yeah, as well. I mean, tastes exactly like a Snickers bar, a bit more dense because the, the protein yeah. added, and same with the Bounty. Bounty though. If you love coconut, like love it, like you buy bounties with like coconut, you'll be I'd a little bit disappointed. You might be a little bit disappointed, but it still has, it's still nice. Like it's still a good. This seems the one we sell the most of. Yeah, I sold two, three boxes in the last two days. So, yeah, yeah look, look, I still thought it was. It just didn't have the rich coconutty yeah. taste, and again, to reduce the fats and mm -hmm. everything else. Um, so we're looking at um, about 19, 18, 19 grams of protein per bar. The fats. Um, were they were about a good half of a normal mm -hmm. Mars bar, and your sugars again about half, but uh, these a little bit less than a half. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, um, well, if you call it better than having a normal bar, if you want to, yeah, I would say it's better than a normal bar. Yeah, but yep. if you do like that Mars bar and you want a Mars bar, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Um, they're in boxes of 18, so we sell them for $79.95 a box. They're $5.95 each, or $34.95 for six. Yes. You can mix and match even online if you go on order line or into the store. You can mix and match uh, 18 to get a box price, and even the six you can mix and match. Mm. No problem. Yeah. Awesome. So that is now available online and in all our stores. Mm -hmm. Mars bars, Stickers and, protein. Stickers and, and bounty. bounty, protein bars. What's next in AM Review? Okay, so we've been talking about it for a while. Yes. Um, we have the brand new from Killer Labs, the Executioner, like doppelganger we'll call it, but it's called Destroyer. We've tried this, well I've tried this the last two days. Can we try it yesterday? Yes. What do you think? All right, punches in the face? Yeah. Uh, 3.5? Yeah, fa fairly low. Yeah. I did find that it doesn't have the same kick as most, obviously, no. as it wouldn't, and it, as it's, strong, it's not as strong, but still, good focus. Very good focus. Good I felt focus really well. good on it. Um, very, you just feel alert, but you don't have that real smack in the head yeah. that the DHMA did gave you. Yeah. yeah. This does contain something called DMPA, yep. which is, we spoke before, it's called, it's area durensis, which is, which is in, found in um, was like rain, it's found in. And we'd like to point out. Yes. To the TGA, that is, it's nothing like DMHA. No, nothing at all. No, it's nothing, actually nothing, not nothing like it at all. Yeah, it's so actually. Just bear that in mind. Yeah, it's not man-made, for instance. It's actually <laughs> from a plant extract, so it's not gone into a lab. But let's let's change a few things here and there. It's a natural extract. So the formula is pretty well the same as the old extract. Yeah, pretty all much. Right, just Every... rattle through quickly what we got in there. So you've got L-citrulline at three grams, beta yeah. alanine two grams, aglutine so sulfate. Medium sulfate. tingles, nothing yeah. crazy. Sulfate, uh, seven point, like 750 milligrams. So good pumps, tyrosine, caffeine and hydrous, DMPA. That's your, it's your energy 
Yep. Energy production cycle. And then you've got di-caffeine malate, which is a caffeine that's bonded with malic acid, great for energy production. And N-methyltyramine and higanamine. So it's got the exact, it pretty much has the same sort of deal. It, um, it, produ it produces norepinephrine on the brain and dopamine. You're a good, natural, feel good sensation, and then it tapers off and you feel. Yeah, I must really admit, good. I used it last night. So I yeah. used it in my evening session. Um, I had no problem with no, sleep. I had no problem with I sleep. I had either. no come down, but I had a really good session. Yeah. Yeah, uh, trained really well, woke me up nicely after a, a long day that mm. I'd had at work and everything. So, uh, and we're looking at how many serves? You're looking at 30 servings and the serving size is 9 grams. So. 30, 30 uh, servings, 64.95. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty well on par with all the other yes. pre-workouts. Yep. Uh, how much caffeine is in there per serve? So you're looking at combined 350 milligrams. Of yeah, so it's that medium to high. Yeah, but it's funny how it's you've, medium you've to got high, that. Yeah. Is it that other caffeine um, that sort of dulls that response? So you don't get that massive. Yeah, that'll be the di caffeine. Yeah, like yeah. So you with. don't get that real punch in the face. Mm. Hence why we gave it a 3.5. Yeah. It also doesn't give you an upset stomach with when people don't have too much caffeine. And I well. found it was good. It didn't take away hunger. No, which no, I found no. the DHMA products did. Yeah. If I took one of them, I would really struggle to eat. Whereas no, this this had no problem with that. No, not at all. So yeah, yeah. look, 3.5, 3.75 out yeah. of five now on those bases. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get used to that. There's the, you're not going to get the same punch yeah. that you were getting with DHMA products. But you products. still get there's still a good mental focus. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. We will really rate that, yeah. uh, and that's now. Uh, I think it's in store at some of the stores. You yes. should be getting your stocks it's here at the gym today. Would I believe? Yes, the Goodwood Road store. Yep. So yeah, but I think available online now. Yeah, yeah. it'll be. Uh, it's available online and will be in this, all our stores by the end of today. That's it. That's it. That was a good Thursday Thunder. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. I'm looking forward to going to Bali. Mm. $5 massages. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go to the seedy places. Oh, okay. It might be a little bit extra there. Oh, right. <laughs> that one was $7.50. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Uh, I'll give you a full report on my trip to Bali next week when we come back. Um, don't forget to like and to share. If you've got any questions, just pop us a message. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Come and check out the gym. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's great. It's amazing. Yeah, it's we trained this morning. Yeah. 170 for one I got in the squat, yes. which I was pretty happy with that. I haven't gone heavy in a long time. So no. That was no, really good. I haven't gone overly heavy squats either, but. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, enough yeah. about us. Yeah. See you guys. See catch you later. guys next week.